The fight for a new skate park in Roanoke isn't over with just yet. Tonight, city council meeting was standing room only as they talked about the city's new parks and recreation master plan, which as of right now leaves skaters out. But as 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us in our top story, the issue is now in overtime. Roanoke city leaders have been behind the skateboarders efforts since nearly day one. They were just as disappointed as the skateboarders were when that master plan came out and a skate park was not listed on it. But tonight they feel that they've been able to come up with a way to move forward. The skateboard park can be added to the master plan, but only if there's an outside way found to pay for it. They say by nature they're against the man, but Monday night they came to plead with the man. They want a place to safely skate in Roanoke. Roanoke wants to be progressive. I applaud that. Here is your opportunity to do something for a large demographic that, that nobody ever speaks up for or stands up for. Years of discussions have happened over a replacement park for Wasina, which will be demolished with the old bridge above it. The Roanoke Skate Park Initiative had felt good until the new park's master plan came out and skateboarding wasn't on it. The consultant explained its surveys found skating low on the priority list compared to pools, greenways and rec centers because there's limited funding. That with uh, a level of accuracy of 95 percent that those same exact answers would be replicated over and over and over within a, a 5 percent uh, margin of error. Parks and Rec Director Michael Clark wants a skate park but said it's hard to argue with the data. Members of city council made it clear they want it too. Uh, I have no doubt that Roanoke will have a state of the art skate park. How we get there and when we get there is really contingent on how we all work together to make that happen. The skaters say it's in their DNA to be wary of authority, but they felt the support and are encouraged by council's action. I think they really understand that our ability to get grants and funding for a skate park is pending on a commitment from the city. And I think that a lot of the what we heard was a definite commitment from the city about, about doing just that. City Council will pick this discussion back up at its meeting in the first week of August. If they do vote yes to adding it to the master plan, it doesn't guarantee that the skate park gets built, but it does guarantee that the skateboarders get to keep a place at the discussion table moving forward. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.